Hey STEAM students, welcome to STEAM. It is Makerspace Day, which means that you get to choose one of the options on the board. For today, if you would like to do red, you can do Osmo. That is in the Osmo folder on the iPads. If it asks you to log in, just press skip, and you might have to do that a few times. There are only three Osmo stands, and there are two of the monster or the masterpiece drawing pads. So keep that in mind. We're not going to do any seed saving today because we finished that last week. If you're choosing to do orange, that means you're going to make something and take it home. Of course, you remember that you need to make something that fits in your locker. If it doesn't fit in your locker, it becomes property of the steam room and you can't take it home. So if you're wondering if it'll fit in your locker, Maybe ask the teacher and you can take it out to the kindergarten area and test it in one of their lockers. Of course, you already know about yellow and green. Try not to do blue the whole time. Of course, we won't be watching you like a hawk, but please know that we don't want you to do blue the whole time. So choose one of the other colors and do that a little bit before you choose blue. As you're working in the steam room, try to choose one spot and stay there. Remember, we don't work on the floor. We always work at a table on it um, where you're sitting on a stool and then your project is on the table. Try not to move from spot to spot because that just means you're going to have a lot of different spaces to clean up. Keep your eye on the time. When the timer goes off, that means you have to stop working and you need to start cleaning up. We actually have quite a few boxes this week for Makerspace Day. Elementary STEAM student families have been doing a fantastic job of bringing boxes and containers in, as well as other recyclables, to work on STEAM projects. So if you need to use more than one box or more than one item, that is okay. Just keep in mind, when you start adding pieces together, your project grows. It still needs to fit in your locker. This area is off limits. Remember, that is a space where you can shop with your eyes and then you need to ask the teacher if you can modify something or use it. Generally, the answer is going to be no because some of the pieces over here are too large to modify and they're too difficult to modify with the tools that we have available. Of course, if you need to use wheels, if you're in third grade or fifth grade, you can make wheels yourself using the drills. However, keep in mind the drill rules. If you're in second grade, we're going to hold off on making wheels and using drills. I'm going to talk a little bit about this area. Again, if you're third grade and fifth grade, it's okay to use the drills. Keep in mind you need to drill over a wood block that is placed over a stool. Of course, the stool won't be on the table like that. Just like we practiced last week. The other things that are in this toolbox are the drill bits, if you need to change out the drill bit. And remember, when we put the drills on the tables, they need to be flat like this and not standing up like they are right now. Only fifth graders and fourth graders are allowed to use the zip snips with caution. And as far as the other things in the toolbox, you won't need or be able to use. All right, glue guns, look at how nice and tidy they are. That needs to be the case for after your class. It needs to look nice and tidy like that. Third grade is the only one allowed to use, third, fourth, and fifth graders are the only ones allowed to use glue with respect and safety and responsibility and kindness. This is where you get your cardboard. If you need cardboard, grab it from here. Not here, that is my space. You don't need cardboard from there, but you can grab it from here if you do need it. When you're shopping for other materials today from other parts of the room, like here, keep in mind we have lots of students that come to the Makerspace steam room, and we need to share these materials and use moderation and only use what we intend to use and what we need to use. Check out this down here. This is a good reminder that when you're taking things out of a bin or a drawer or a box, that 
if something leaks out of it or falls out of that bin or drawer, you should put it back and make it look nice and tidy so that we don't have a messy looking room or a chaotic chaos. At the end of class, you're going to be asked to clean up the classroom, which means not only clean up your own mess that you've created, but to walk around, check the table tops, check the perimeter of the, the, the table that you're sitting at, and check under the table that you're sitting at. And put the things away that you where you know they go. If you don't know where they go, you can put them on treasure or trash. Make it a great day, STEAM students. I can't wait to hear and see and learn all about what you've done today.